I'm gonna start shooting, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, come here. No. <sighs> It helps when you do this. <laughs> That's loud? It's a magazine. <laughs> so, is it loud for you or <sighs> loud? You wanna? Huh? No. <sighs> it's, it's impossible. It's still loud. <sighs> of course. But it's like some something is going on. Okay, we're trying slugs. Even though I wasn't lucky with the uh, crown land or public land, but I did stop by, as you saw, at the gun club and I uh, uh, booked a membership. So now I have a member card, so I can go there anytime between nine and six, I think, any day. I wanted to go with weekdays only. But today's Saturday and I asked him, I said, okay, if I just go for a membership for uh, Monday through Friday only, which was like 400 bucks a year, or I think it's like 40 bucks a month or something like that. I said, how much would you charge me for today's session? Because today's Saturday, right? So that membership doesn't cover Saturday. So they said 50 bucks. So now we're looking at 450, right? And maybe in the future, sometimes I would want to come on a weekend because then you know i'm not it's not interfering with my work and so i said you know what let me go for the full membership so i can show up anytime i think it's it's pretty expensive it's like 600 a year canadian but i said i'm gonna do monthly and i think monthly was like 50 54 bucks which i think is okay 54 dollars of course it's all business expense since i'm making videos about shooting so gun club membership should be a legitimate business expense because i need that membership in order to shoot in order to make movies for youtube in order to make money and declare that income and and so this time i i so i had preloaded two mags with uh, double load buckshot and two mags with uh one ounce slug two and three quarter cartridge right and then i brought some loose ones i think i had um nine or ten those bad cartridges that i can only load in the chamber manually right? because they're too big for the for the magazine so i have to get rid of them anyway and so i brought a few of those so i think all in all i did like 50 uh, 50 rounds and after the first mag i started with buckshot the first mag got i mean the barrel got pretty hot so i had to wait like a few minutes 
till it cools down. And there were people next to me because there's two lanes in there inside that container. Uh, there was a father and son. He was teaching him how to shoot. Uh, I think it was a nine millimeter, nine millimeter pistol. You know, but they probably sh did like three rounds where I did fifty because he was talking to him, instructing him, and um, and then and so I'm I'm never honestly I'm never impressed with this buckshot, especially when you shoot paper targets. They're all over the place. I think buckshot, uh, now what I want to do is just, you know, shoot some stuff uh, besides paper targets. You know, that what I, actually what I have inside my minivan is like bottles of water, jugs of pop, you know, stuff like that. That would be fun with a buckshot. But paper targets, I, it was not fun. And then I switched to slugs and I'm pointing, I'm pointing here. No, I was pointing at the center, the slug hits here. I started raising the barrel, so now I'm aiming here. It was getting in the center. And so um, I didn't take my laser, laser bore sight uh, gizmo. So all I did was just, I, I unscrewed the top there from the elevation uh, turret, and I just brought it down, right? So brought it down by about like you know when you look at the distance like 20 yards i brought it down probably by like a couple of inches and then i started shooting and guess what the first shot was here <laughs> this is about 15 20 yards you know with the slug it was really cool you know and then i got i like this i like this alien so i got this alien check this out I didn't, well, I got one right in the middle and then I got a bunch of them over here for some reason. And, but I definitely would have killed this alien if this was a fight and it was actually pretty far, you know, like for a shotgun, like I said, it was, you know, 15, 20 meters, let's say. Uh, it felt far, but this is only my second time on the, on the range, but I'm pretty proud of this. You know, and this felt, uh, this was really satisfying to put a slug in the middle of the target, um, right in the bullseye, you know. I really enjoyed it. So now, and actually, if you remember, I bought hundreds, like a case of 175 um, rounds slugs. So I have lots of slugs. And, and so from now on, when I go to that, uh, place to the gun club in downtown Calgary that's what I'm gonna be doing uh, because I don't think I have maybe like 20 rounds of buckshot left so and I really enjoy using slugs against paper targets so I'll keep I'll keep uh, buckshot you know for those occasions where I can in the spring where I can go to uh, to the public land again and shoot some non-paper targets